that they don't even have what I want or what I need, so we're just about to go check out and what he said, he wanted original, yeah. So we about to just go check out. There's just too much going on in here. Music playing around. Chloe standing up in the cart like she didn't just bust her freaking head open. And she doesn't even care. So, yeah. We're about to go, you guys. There's too much going on. But, yeah, like I said, we didn't. I didn't vlog that much today because we didn't do nothing. So, um, I'll just insert this little bit of footage at the grocery store. And then I'll start, basically start the weekly vlog tomorrow. And then see you guys next week. funny but i'm about to go back to sleep it's 10 to 7 and it's already starting to get daylight out but i had to run to the other room to get her because she was screaming for me and him and i'm like okay she's having a nightmare or something so i just brought her and got her in the bed with me usually i'll go in there and play with her but i don't like that it gets too um light too fast in her room so yeah um i just placed my grocery order i told you guys i was doing like a bigger grocery order and this is still not everything that we're gonna get but this is just like a lot of the basics that i know um i wanted and needed right now but when bake gets off work we'll probably just go grab some few extra little things that he wants or got a taste for but for right now um i just basically <laughs> got majority of this stuff so we won't have to get much and i spent like i think between like 175 between like 175 and 190 or something like that so yeah i just got some of the basic stuff um i'm gonna make some spaghetti today with some cheesy garlic bread and i'm gonna make this pasta salad um that i just started making this will be my second time making but i'll show you guys how i make it okay okay being hungry is not getting juice so are you thirsty or are you hungry turkey okay <laughs> our order is supposed to be um here from 10 to 11 a.m hopefully i don't leave it outside this time um and hopefully I can hear the notifications on my phone because I put my phone on do not disturb at, while, at night or while I'm trying to sleep because I'll get like a whole bunch of spam emails and it would just keep me up all night, the vibrating and stuff. But um, I'm going to try to leave my phone on ringer. That way I can um, see because if I have like like substitutions and stuff like that, I do not want them to substitute any of my sh Like I'll just go to the store and get it hopefully they don't have to substitute anything that way like we'll be good to go because i really hate substitutions and stuff like that and getting stuff that you know i didn't want like i put exactly what i want in the card that's what i want in my order but yeah um it'll be here in about three to four hours so i'm gonna try to go back to sleep you guys are looking for the mess but chloe says she's thirsty so I'm about to just give her uh, I'm about to just give her the rest of his orange juice. There's probably not even enough to give her half of a cup. But um, I'm showing you guys my water. It's a little over half. A little over half. Um, full. I am like 33 and a half weeks. Yeah, this is empty. I don't even know why I put this back in the refrigerator. Yeah, I couldn't even get a drop out of there. But I'm about to just give her a little, little bit of water because she's about to go back to sleep anyway. She literally woke up at like six on the dot. And don't think that I do this often. Like, no, this is strictly me. Like I drink all of this, if anything, She'll probably get like one full cup out of it if I give her like two half cups or anything like that. But that's not 
like a regular thing. I'll give her juice sometimes, depending on what the juice is, and I'll dilate it or um chocolate milk. That's what the I forgot on my freaking order. Nope, I have to go back and get that. So yeah, um, yeah, she's about to go back to sleep. I'm about to go back to sleep, and. I'll update you guys when I start cooking on what my doctor said. So I'll see you guys when our groceries get. as a tip. She just called me like, I can't pass. I'm passing the house. I don't know where it is. Like, um, can you tell me what number? Can you tell me what color? They're all the same fucking color. And she's like, can you tell me what car in the driveway? There's no car in the driveway. She's like, oh, I see the number next to you. Well, that's like next to us is, is where we're at. Like, how do you pass me four or five times? I'm sorry, you guys. I look a mess. I'm rushing. But like, what's fucking new? I'm almost nine months pregnant. So get with it. Okay. Let me go get these groceries. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. All right. Jesus. Whew. Last one. But yeah, you guys, I was just like, what the F? Like, she was a, oh gosh. She was an older lady, and she didn't sound all the way right in the head. So I gave her $2 as a tip. But yeah, I look a mess. Oh, fucking well, who cares? I'm not much pregnant. I'm ready to get this baby out of me. I'm tired. I'm out of breath. You guys literally just saw that we was up at, like, almost 7 a.m. I fell back to sleep. I was sleeping so freaking good. And I don't know if you guys heard in like the little last few seconds of the video, Kobe was like, what did what she say? She said, um, I thirsty, I thirsty, I thirsty. And then she kept like literally pushing me, nudging me. And I'm like, no, just lay back down. It's time to go to bed. You don't need anything to drink. Just go to bed. Her being her and a toddler, I'm like, just go back to sleep. I already know, like, what's going to happen? You're going to piss in the bed. No. But I also don't want to do her like that because I know me and Bay wake up in the middle of the night very hot and dehydrated. So, of course, she did. At the same time, you know, that's why I'm telling you no more drink. You can't get anything else to drink. Her not listening to me, I don't know. She did kind of have a nightmare, and I know she was sleeping good, too. So, she turned around and pissed in the bed. And me, like, because she's sleeping on this side, I just reach over, like, and touch in the middle of her and touch on the bed and touch her legs just to make sure, like, she's still dry. She's good. So, me touching her and stuff, I'm just like, you know, are you good? Are you good? I'm just making sure. I touched her at, like, 9.55 or something like that, and it's fucking wet, soaking wet. I literally jumped up, like, jumped up, like, Somebody just broke in the house or something. I just jumped up and I'm like, no, get up, get up, get up. You in the bed. Like, I have to hurry up, wash the covers, clean the bed. And I'm just like, this is exactly why I told you and keep telling you that you can't get nothing to drink. But you're going to sit here and keep bugging me and bugging me like you're so fucking dehydrated and you still are not 100% potty trained yet. <sighs> then she knows like she'll get punished for it. I guess now she's starting to become traumatized every time she goes number one or number two in her panties like you know it's time for you to get punished. So she literally starts screaming and crying at the top of her lungs like I don't want a pop pop. That's what I call her pop pop. You're gonna get a pop pop. So she's like no please I don't want it. And I'm like number one she woke up at like 5 6 a.m. anyways because she had a nightmare. So I'm not going to punish her when it comes to that. But at the same time, you know, this is why I'm telling her the things that I'm telling her. And of course, she's only two. She doesn't understand or, you know, that I'm telling her for, you know, the right reason or whatnot. So 
I'm just like, okay, whatever. Like, I'm not going to punish you this time. But she just did the same exact thing yesterday morning in her bed in, in the other room. And that's why I told her, you know, that why you can't be getting up and getting stuff to drink and stuff. So it's just like, it's very frustrating. It is what it is, you guys. Like, I don't know. She just needs to start listening when I tell her things like that. And we're going to find a better system for her. Like, she's just not going to have anything to drink. Like, seriously. But um, this is an overview. I'm not always finished, but this is just an overview of all of the things that we got. Um, I'll do more in depth. And then um, I'll, like, while I'm putting the things up, I'll tell you guys or update you guys on what my doctor said because I never did that. And this is like a whole new vlog, technically a whole new weekly vlog. So I'll just update you guys on what they said and what's going on. And then um, let you know, like, what's, what, what we're going to do next after that. So let me get started. Everything's out the bags now, so I'll get started. Yeah, um... That was good. Um, I'm just gonna take... Like, I'm gonna tell you guys what we got and try to talk at the same time and update you. But I'm gonna put it up while I'm doing it as well. And the stuff that I'm cooking today, I'll just leave out. So I'm gonna make, um... Just something quick. It's it's Tuesday, it's a weekday, so I'll just make spaghetti and um this pasta salad that I be making that they liked, they refunded some of um our items because they did not have it, I guess. Um so we just gonna we gonna try to work with it. I don't think they really refunded anything that important, but what they did refund was my romaine lettuce. So I mean, lettuce is what I needed for the pasta salad that I make. So um, I guess we're just gonna either wait till bake is off and um, go get it, or we just gonna go with the flow and not use it in the pasta salad. I don't know, it just depends. Um, so I got some five cheese Texas toast, cause I think the regular garlic bread is just not really that good to me. It just like it's good it's, it's like buttery and garlic but this is just like top notch is really good so i got some five cheese um texas toast i got chicken biscuits because you guys saw last night i tried to go to the grocery store and get them and they only had sausage and we don't do that and then i finally got the steak because they were not trying to give it to me last time it was like way too expensive so i'm just going with the freezer stuff first so i can get it out the way really quick um this brick oven cheese pizza it's a i think it's a five cheese or three cheese but you guys <laughs> babe was like i gotta find somewhere to put these stickers we got them from um the van store yesterday and he was like i gotta find somewhere to put them and i'm like oh, okay i'll find somewhere to put them and i just threw them up there i don't know why you guys just to spice up our refrigerator i guess but you know it's whatever so yeah just put the rest of the stuff up and kind of clear out um oh i can kind of clear out what we already have and stuff in here or what's like already bad and whatnot so that's what i'm gonna do um because we didn't really get much like i said i just got the basic necessities necessities until bay gets off work and then um like once he gets off work, this is really not much actually. Once he gets off work, um, I mean, I'm gonna start cooking dinner like an hour before he gets off work. But once he gets off work, uh, then we're gonna go to the grocery store probably. What's up? You pee peed in the bed? It's okay. What's up, you hungry? Okay. Give mommy a second. But, uh oh. But yeah, when he gets off work, we're probably gonna um, 
when he gets off work we're probably gonna go to the grocery store as a family but i know while he's at work and for me to already start cooking and stuff oh my god you guys i just ran out of freaking storage so hopefully i just deleted some stuff so hopefully like i'll be okay i really need to invest in a camera and whatnot but like i said i'm putting out all these vlogs for you guys i'm putting out all these vlogs for you guys so i'm really trying to get monetized before i like really commit and take it serious but at the same time i am really committed and taking this serious like i really actually love doing youtube and i've like only been doing it for a month and i haven't really got monetized or did anything for the most part but that's another story so yeah uh, we're gonna wait till make it off work to um go ahead and you know do our main grocery shopping but i just got the most things like just a few snacks and stuff like that we can eat while he's at work and for him to take to work um drinks um things that like i like to eat and crave and then i just got the, um me to start making our dinner or whatnot so yeah um but you guys saw i have bread pasta this is for what is it okay hold on um that's for our spaghetti and salad and whatnot um rice they eat rice like crazy every day mac and cheese um i got these cheese and garlic croutons um it's the same brand by the texas toast because i'm going to use that in the salad i have turkey pepperoni rotisserie chicken breast and honey roasted turkey breast because I'm gonna cut those up and put that in there as well. I'm saying like I don't have any storage to do what I need to do, so I don't know you guys. But um, I just got some more ranch and Italian dressing and I got two of these because these are gonna go in the pasta salad as well. So um, I've already put basically all the freezer food and cabinet food up. I'm just doing the refrigerator now and like the little bit of snacks that we have. Um, these are Bay favorite chips and the other twisty Fritos, the honey barbecue. I just got him like a whole bunch of different um, flavors of body armor. And of course I had to get my strawberry banana, Chobani again, um, Twix, I've been craving this my whole pregnancy. Um, olives, nobody eats olives in the house but me. So I'm gonna use it in my salad. Um, I got me some more Uncrustables, of course. And I got Chloe her own strawberry so she doesn't have to eat mine. Gatorade, cause he loves that. That's his favorite flavor. He'll take them to work. I got some bagel dogs for me and Chloe to eat throughout the day. And then um, my favorite chips, of course you guys. These cheddar pretzels, I just put you one. And I, you guys just seen two days ago that, that I had opened the bag and ate them and they're all gone. So I got another bag and those sun chips are the freaking best. And then Bay, um, he likes beef jerky, but why are you stretching your shirt out like that? Please stop. Mm -hmm. um, Bay likes beef jerky, but last night, the kind that I got was Sweet Baby Ray's, like the barbecue brand, and he doesn't like it. He likes Jack Link's. He like, I like the one with the beer on it. So I got him Jack Link's um, because he did not really appreciate it. Like, he was very upset. So um, I'm just going to hurry up and put this fridge food away, and then... I'll start letting you guys know. But yeah, you guys, it's a um, it's about ten forty-five now, and it is a few hours later, of course. So, um, we went to my doctor's appointment, and we went to my doctor's appointment, and um, everything was fine. My original doctor actually wasn't there actually wasn't there today so i had to see someone else that i haven't seen before i guess if that makes sense um so what she said was you know she asked like how how was i feeling how is everything going i was telling her some of the symptoms i was having and stuff and she was just like okay well you know some of that stuff is pretty normal and some of it you know, if it gets too intense to let us know and we'll send you to the ER or whatever. I'm not, yeah, I'm not opening that for you. 
Hold on, you guys. Let me put the rest of this stuff up and then come back and talk to you. It's just like too chaotic and just too much going on. So I'm trying to hurry up and talk fast, you guys. So me and Chloe can get some breakfast and figure out what we're going to do. It's 5 to 11 and I'm going to start like cooking our dinner or lunch or whatever around like 1230 ish, one o'clock. So let me just go ahead and do that. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. Oh, my God. I look so crazy. I'm sorry, you guys. I just have to hurry up and put the groceries up and stuff. It's too much going on. Chloe keep bugging me about something to drink, even though she just peed in the bed. And then it's like difficult for me to try to multitask and record and I keep running out of storage and it's just like too much going on. I really need to get a camera and whatnot. But basically she just was like, we put your C-section date in and it's going to be um, when you're around like 38 and a half weeks, 39 weeks pregnant. And I'm already like damn near 34. So I have about five weeks left. So, um, she said they don't do it over the weekend so it's gonna be the monday and what i'm getting at is it will be on april 3rd which is in about five weeks so that's when the baby will be here i'm assuming um that's what i took out of it but long story short she basically said they don't do c-sections over the weekend and um i'm already 34 weeks basically so i have like two and a half more weeks to you know, keep the house intact, um, cleaned, or at least straightened up for the baby, um, fully stocked, you know, just to keep preparing. And then I'm gonna be nesting for the last two and a half weeks because when I turn 36 weeks, um, literally two and a half weeks later, I'll be scheduled for the C-section. So what I'm getting at is, um, she told me it'll be the following Monday after I'm like 38 or 39 weeks. Um, so I'm getting, um, the conclusion I've come to is that my C-section will be around April 3rd. So the baby will be here around April 3rd. But like I said, you guys won't see this vlog until, you know, like weeks from now, almost a month. So, yeah, um, she didn't really say nothing else. Um, I would just I would have felt more comfortable seeing my regular doctor. I've been seeing my whole pregnancy. Um there wasn't really anything that we had to go over or anything like that. Um, we're just basically like preparing and stuff for the baby to come now, making sure everything under the house and with Chloe is good. So yeah, guys, we're about to have a baby soon. And I'll see you guys when we're about to start cooking dinner. I know you guys are probably like, why are you gonna start cooking dinner at one o'clock? Like when Bay gets home, he, he stops at um, a restaurant across from his job um and he just grabbed like some breakfast biscuits in the morning and stuff but then by the time he gets home he's like i'm hungry again and then me are hungry me and chloe are hungry like i said while he's at work throughout the day and we don't really eat lunch she's only saying that because she heard me talking but we don't really eat throughout the day while he's at work so i just try to get a little like little few things that we can just snack on and stuff um because when he gets home like we're always jumping in the car and going straight out and about taking her to the park or somewhere and then we'll stop and get food afterwards so i'm just gonna make dinner really quick and It's 4.30 and we about to get cooking. 
hey you guys welcome back to my channel um if you guys know me in real life then you guys know my mom used to make this famous linguine pasta um you know she used to make bent pans of it for our home she used to make it for the church just make it for people um in general and everybody was in love with this pasta so this is kind of like my own spinoff of that um of course she put her own other things in it um i don't eat pork so i didn't use the pepperoni minis that she uses i used turkey pepperoni she also used um different meats and um cheeses and stuff like that in hers she also used like um onions and cucumbers and she used linguine noodles but like i said this is my own little spinoff of it um so first i'm just gonna boil the pasta and um use rotini pasta it's kind of like um a, another little spinoff of my mom's linguine pasta plus a spinoff of an pasta salad if you're from up north then you know what i'm talking about so yeah i just got some rotisserie seasoned chicken breast and some honey smoked turkey breast and i just cut those up um into really small pieces or kind of like it looks shredded and i do the same with the turkey pepperoni and the first thing i do is boil the rotini pasta and i let it go until it's soft enough um i keep testing it checking it to make sure it's to my liking um like i said and then i just dice up all of the meats to my liking um and then i have my sauces i'm going to be using italian dressing um sometimes i do a mix of italian dressing um in my own personal bowl i also add black olives and croutons sometimes but um in the bowl that i make for my family i use romaine lettuce um and i shred it up but they forgot the romaine lettuce in my order so i'm just working with what i got for right now so yeah, after the noodles are all boiled and finished cooking, I drain the water and I kind of put them aside until I'm finished um, dicing up the meat. Run cold water under the noodles so they won't stick. And um, here's me struggling to look for my strainer because I couldn't find it anywhere. So yeah, I just basically let the noodles cook um, and set them aside in the bowl or I put them in the fridge to cool down until I am finished slicing my meats and whatnot once the noodles have cooled or basically i am finished with my meat then i go ahead and add everything together in the bowl so i just basically mix everything together and taste it and see how it looks and if i need to um cut up any more meat or anything like that then i will do that and then add some um to the rest of the bowl later so yeah that's basically how i did it Found the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still finish and run, yeah, yeah. So as you can see, I added my cheese and I mixed everything around. I gave it a good mix. And um, 
to me personally, I seemed like I needed a little bit more meat and cheese. So again, that's what I did. Just added it to my liking. Um, and like I said, I didn't have any lettuce. That's kind of like the base and like the crunch of my um, pasta salad because everything else is so soft. And then the dressing is kind of like the glue that holds everything together and it also give it a nice flavor. So yeah, this is what it looks like right now. So again, I added some more meat and cheeses and gave it another good, good mix around. And then I just usually put it in the fridge to cool. Um, and that's how we eat it. We just usually eat it cold. And you see, I used one whole bottle of Italian dressing and just a slightly little bit of ranch just to give it a nice creamy flavor and texture as well. Um, besides the Italian dressing. So yes, I just mix it around once again, get everything all nice and together and then um i put it in the fridge to cool and this is super super good because the noodles are still very warm um, my boyfriend doesn't like to eat it like that but i could care either way because it's still really good so yeah i just put it in the fridge to cool and that is basically it quick simple pasta you guys and this usually will last us about a week or so um if i don't forget it's in there or either one of us um and throw it out sometimes he takes us to work sometimes i'll eat it for lunch and we'll eat it throughout the day with different meals like pasta and sandwiches pasta and pizza and things like that so yes you guys this was a quick simple meal and this was my spinoff of um a pasta salad so i hope you guys like this and um kind of make this recipe your own or take some ideas um and like i said i did end up eating this the next day which you guys will see in the next clip so yeah let me know how you guys like it if you do decide to try and make it hey you guys <laughs> um good morning well it's about noon um, it's the next day. I'm about to eat some of the pasta salad I made last night. You guys, it was so freaking good. I didn't really eat that much of it because I already made pasta spaghetti. So, you know, but, um, this is just like, I usually make a big bowl of this about this size every time. And this is something we can eat throughout the day. Um, throughout the week. I meant like, I'll probably throw a pizza in the oven and we'll have pasta on the side. Or we'll have sandwiches for lunch and pasta on the side. So, you know, it's something we can eat throughout the week. But yeah, it's about noon. And um, Chloe's over there having like some apples and cheese and crackers and like some turkey bites. And I'm just about to eat a little bit of this pasta. And yeah, I didn't get a chance to take a shower this morning. So after I eat this lunch, I'm actually going to take a shower and fix this get all this together but um yeah well it's about noon we didn't do anything all day like we got up and had um a little bit of breakfast and then laid back down so i don't know what we got planned for today it's really cold and gloomy outside so i'm not sure how long this weekly vlog will be because like i said it's already wednesday so i might just incorporate it into next week vlog um and just figure it out because it's already wednesday like i said and we have not really did much this whole week so um yeah guys we got four to five weeks left and the baby will be here soon i'm gonna update you guys on like the name and the gender well of course you guys are gonna see the other weekly vlog before this when i showed you guys the clothes so of course you know i'm having a boy by this time but i'll do an updated baby name um for you guys yes let's see your big cheeks you look like a squirrel with the fat cheeks and let me pitch <laughs> um so yeah i'll do a um updated um sooner than later i don't know yet but yeah, the pasta got to chill all night, so. Well, I ate it a little bit. Like, after you guys see me make everyone's plates and stuff. I'm going to need a spoon or something. After you guys see me make everyone plates and stuff, um, I actually had, like, a little bowl of this with the spaghetti. 
and it was so good i added some croutons and black olives in it and a little bit of ranch you guys it was so freaking good but yeah we have not been doing nothing all day it's like really windy and gloomy outside so you know when the weather's like that your energy just be like uh so um i don't know what we're doing for today most likely nothing but just lounging around um the house is pretty much straight you don't stuff your mouth like that that's how you choke you eat one at a time there's plenty of food chloe nothing is going anywhere but this pasta is so good like i'm the one who like really majority eats it so yeah so um i'll probably be the only one eating all of this or most of it but um well really me and babe because i don't know Chloe. not like she doesn't like it but i don't know she'd be acting like such a picky eater sometimes but she likes a lot of the same things that i like or she wants to eat everything that i eat and then when i give it to her she'd be acting funny so i don't know but yeah like i said the house is pretty much straight for the most part the only thing that um you know is kind of off is probably our laundry and um the dishes but i like pre-rinsed them last night after i cooked so not much so um i just have to like throw the dishes in the dishwasher and that'll be it other than that i probably won't get to laundry like sometime this week or anything because like our laundry is not backed up i just have like a whole bunch of clothes to fold and i have to do laundry like every other week or every week so i'm really not complaining but i'd rather just i'd rather just do the laundry later on but yeah you guys i'm about to go ahead and eat some of this and um wait for bae to call me on his lunch break and then figure out what we're gonna do um for the rest of the day so <laughs> get some olives a little bit of ranch and croutons this is how it pretty much looks you guys just a little like cold pasta salad you can eat throughout the week or whatever i added ranch and i added these new york texas toast croutons and i got it in cheese and garlic flavor i was gonna get it in garlic and herb but cheese and garlic i don't know i don't really taste it as much but it don't taste that bad um it's like a slight taste i can taste i tried to eat them by itself but it's not that bad it just cut the roof of my mouth like damn i added some black olives so yeah it's a cold pasta salad like if you're from up north then you know about in a pasta salads so this is kind of like my homemade version of it but yeah it's really really good with a little bit of ranch um i slept last night with my water next to the bed so i don't have to keep getting up in the middle of the night i filled it up and this is already how much i have left okay. bed right there coming back we're at the gas station right now i'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit more when we get into the store we um <laughs> we um about to go to Publix to get some you guys saw first of all let me backtrack it's much 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 later a few hours later after we ate everybody just kind of like chilled out and took a nap and then we got up around like four or five o'clock and it is currently 6 35 and we um got dressed got ourselves together and stuff we're on our way to the grocery store um to Publix um you guys saw me cook breakfast earlier and i got a little bit of groceries not really much but just like a few items that i needed like we didn't have the pancake mix and syrup and stuff like that so i just got it and orange juice and stuff so <laughs> like what the heck i got one arm in my jacket they just gave me the jacket oh because i'm tired y'all i got on my favorite purse and my favorite jeans <laughs> and my checkered vans but i'll show you guys more and talk to you guys more when we get into the grocery store <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Not 
see what I get for groceries. <laughs> oh, you guys, I am so freaking tired. I could hardly walk through the store. I'm getting these very, very sharp pains that's happening like in my pelvis and in the lower half of my <laughs> and it shoots down my legs and it's like it was so hard for me to walk i kept like having like a i kept having like a big like jump and then i was just like oh my gosh so Bay had to push the cart we just finished grocery shopping i was trying to get a little bit of footage for you guys and talk to you guys let you know let you guys know what's going on but he's like what are you doing are you trying to make a vlog and i'm like yes <laughs> But I'm going to just talk to you guys when um we get home. We just finished grocery shopping. We spent like $200. <laughs> he always talking about, what are you doing? Are you making a vlog? They better not copyright me for this damn kids music in the background. Because they try to copyright me for every little freaking thing. But good morning, you guys. It is the next day, clearly. Um, it is Monday. 11 o'clock. Oh. Here, get your ball. Mm, throw it in here. There you go. Good morning, you guys. It is 10.52 in the morning. It is Monday. I'm about to give Chloe just one of these little Danimals, strawberry smoothie, until I figure out what we're about to eat for breakfast. Um, we've been up for like an hour now, but she kind of just got me out the bed because I didn't want to wake up that early or get out the bed. Mm. Mm. I got my strawberry banana chill body, so I'm going to go do that. So, yeah, um... We kind of just been chilling around for like an hour or whatever, but I just got up now, so I'm about to figure out what we're going to do for breakfast. But yeah, you guys, it's Monday. It's the next day. Um, in the last clip, you guys saw us go to the grocery store and stuff, and I was trying to update you guys a little bit. It was just too much going on. Um, I've been so freaking dehydrated. I don't know why. Whatever. By the time we got back home last night, it was like probably 8.30 or something like that. And I couldn't really vlog all of the things that I got from the grocery store or do a grocery haul. Um, and I couldn't really update you guys how I wanted to. But I'm just like, you know, it doesn't really matter anyways because I don't want that to get too repetitive. Like you guys are just seeing me get groceries, put up groceries, doing grocery hauls cooking and clean it you know just the same thing so i was just like you know whatever so yeah he was just like um when we got in the house last night um i already had once i finished cooking breakfast i had steak um thawed out well it was unthawed in the sink um when we got home from the grocery store it was pretty much ready to cook and stuff so i told him i was gonna start dinner um and it was a little before nine and he was like you don't have to cook like we just went grocery i was kind of telling you guys how i was feeling last night um me walking around the grocery store i was in pain and stuff a little bit but he was like oh you don't have to cook and i'm like i know i don't have to but i want to and i really have a taste for steak like you know i've been waiting to cook this for almost a week now a couple of days and he's like oh you don't have to cook it you know you can just wait um until tomorrow until i get off work or something yesterday i was supposed to um actually clean up um after i cooked breakfast but like i said after i ate breakfast um we all kind of took a nap and stuff and then when we got up um everybody's sleep schedule was just thrown off like he was up throughout the whole time i was dozing off and then chloe was up and then i ended up putting her down for a nap and then when she fell asleep i was just up so once everybody got up, we was just kind of sitting there for like an hour or two, like what's going on. And then he had um, some company come over. He was just talking with his nephew and stuff. Um, and then we got up around like five o'clock to go to the grocery store. And we was just gone for a couple hours and stuff like that. Just grabbing things, getting things done. You finished? <laughs> Is she always spilling something on herself? Let me see. <laughs> 
Okay, you want a banana flavor? Or you want another strawberry? Another strawberry. Okay, hold on. Go in the living room. Mommy, bring it to you. Okay? I'm about to get in and bring it to you. So, yeah. um, You know, she always, like, killing my freaking Chobani. So, I'm like, let me just get her her own little mini kind or whatever. You like them? Is it yummy? Yummy. Okay, I don't want you to have too many of these. Don't pull it. Don't pull it. I can't taste it. I can't take it. Okay, bye. <laughs> so yeah, um, I didn't even clean up after I cooked you guys. I was just like so tired. My energy was off. I was out of it. I had caught myself catching a little attitude because Bay had said something, and I was just like, "What the f?" And I just started <laughs> going off. And then I was just like, you know what? I don't have time for this energy. I'm freaking pregnant. Like, leave me the fuck. Leave me alone. I was just like, I'm about to go take a nap with Chloe. I don't got time for your energy. Like, forget that. <coughs> and then before we were about to walk out the door, he came and kissed me and apologized and was like, I'm sorry for catching an attitude earlier. And I'm like, no, forgive that because you know. <laughs> Which pretty much been happening a lot lately. But yeah, so I did not clean up you guys at all. I felt really bad because I'm like, this house is a mess. How did I even let it get like this? You know, let me try to do something. But it looked like he kind of, like he didn't clean up, but it looked like he kind of like, I don't know, did something. I don't know what he did, but you, it, it tell like he probably tried to wipe some stuff off or something. But yeah, so I just figured like while he's at work and um, I can kind of have Chloe distracted with the TV really quick. I'm gonna just go ahead and do everything. I told you you have a mess on your mouth. Look in the mirror. So I just kind of said I will clean up and do everything today that I was supposed to do yesterday. I'm all bent up and like my body feels like a freaking noodle. I'm just so tired and I'm aching here and there and everywhere. So I'm sorry, you guys. I have not been vlogging that much. I have not been consistent. I have not been updating you guys like. A lot has been going on, but I've just been like so tired that I don't even feel like picking up the camera. And I just feel like I've just been talk, 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 talking to you guys so much that I don't want to kind of overwhelm y'all or overwhelm myself with just always talking, talking. Okay, good job. With just, you know, just to keep talking to you guys. Like I know you guys want to see other things. So yeah, like I said, I'm about to figure out um, breakfast for me and Chloe. Which is probably just gonna be nothing. I'll probably just make her um you guys saw me um load the dishwasher and stuff like that yesterday. So it's not really much that I have to do. Like I said, um the only thing I have to do is probably clean the bathroom. Of course, laundry, always laundry. I don't like once I get once our laundry is finished, I just let it sit in piles. I don't ever fold the clothes up and put them away. So it's not like we have dirty clothes, it's just like I don't ever fold the laundry. So I have to do that. So the bathroom laundry, and then I'm probably just gonna wipe down the counters and tables because I didn't do it after I cooked. But I told myself um, that I want to get it done before the baby comes because as you guys know, we have about four weeks left. Maybe, I would say like three and a half, three and a half, four weeks left. So I'm just trying to keep the house as stocked up as possible because at any moment that could change, I'm trying to keep the house clean as possible. You know so i don't have much to do and i'm about to start my nesting phase you guys in about a week or so so yeah um if i don't end up mopping the floors today then i'll just sweep and do that probably like a week or two before the baby actually comes because we do have a set scheduled date now and a time i'm just gonna do those few things around the house not too much not too much um the steak is still unthawed in the refrigerator i just left it in there um all night so i can um go ahead and just cook but like i said i probably won't make um no i probably won't cook um until i don't know maybe like around five or six basically like around dinner time because um i don't want to cook a big meal like that too early in the day and it's like you know sitting on everybody heavy i'll rather wait until we all about to go to sleep which would be like you know six o'clock or something so yeah, you guys, I'm not gonna talk too much anymore. I'm about to figure out a breakfast situation and then I'm going to start cleaning up. 
Hey you guys, so it is um, basically 12.45, almost 12.45. I just finished cleaning the, um, I just finished cleaning the um, kitchen. All I did was load the dishwasher and wipe off the counters and table and stove and stuff. I'm so freaking tired, it is, let me face the light. I'm so freaking tired. Um, it's 12.45. I literally just got up like probably 20 minutes ago and started cleaning. Um, there's not really much I have to do. I, as soon as I got up, I just was like, nope, I'm not feeling this. Um, I'm not going to mop the floors. I'm just going to sweep really, really good. And I'll probably mop this weekend because knowing if I mop now, they're going to be dirty by this weekend. So I'm probably just going to wait till this weekend. Like I said, I cleaned out our snack cabinet and our pantry and refrigerator last night so um it's a lot of cardboard boxes and stuff but i'm just gonna have bay take those out when he gets here or i'll just hurry up and break those down and take them out but for the most part i had to take out the trash because it was starting to smell really bad like mm -mm. So, there's nothing really on the floors so i'm gonna just sweep from back to front starting with chloe's room um me and bay room and then I'm going to the bathroom, sweep that. And then I'm going to the living room and like our front entry doorway. Um, and then I'm going to go with the kitchen and that'll be it. All I'm going to do is fold the laundry um, if I feel like it or if I, you know, have the energy or time to do it. But yeah, right now I'm about to go clean the bathroom. Um, so I'm just going to hurry up and um, my freaking tripod is broken and the leg, one of the legs keeps coming off. But um, yeah, I'm about to go clean up the bathroom really quick. It shouldn't take me no more than like literally 10 minutes. <sighs> it shouldn't take me no more than like 10, 15 minutes. So I'm gonna hurry up and do that. And I'm gonna come back to you guys when I start sweeping the floors and that'll be it, so. but we did all the heavy work um dishwasher just finished and you can see that smoke dishwasher just finished i have our 
towels and bath rugs and stuff washing and i'm just about to use this lemon spray um and go around the house just to give it a nice fresh scent um and cut on the fans and stuff so that i can let it circulate um everything's pretty much done the only thing i have left to do is the um laundry so i'm about to do that with you guys but yeah i'm pretty much finished 1 30 so they will be here in about 35 45 minutes so i'm about to play some music and get the laundry done and see you guys in a little bit still going but that's pretty much everything right there um i put our socks together but i don't really be like folding our socks or um folding our folding our underwear and stuff chloe just said she's hungry what the hell so i'm about to put these bagel dogs in the oven for her and give her probably some apple slices and some grapes and um hold on <laughs> y'all my under boobs is sweating so bad um and probably give give her some uh whew, gotta let it air out <laughs> and probably give her some um cheese or something like that but yeah i just finished house is clean um straightened up good for the most part so yeah i'm about to go ahead and make us some lunch it's what 55 everything's done it smells really good in here it smells like a fresh lemon scent by this time so, <laughs> so yeah, I'm about to just um get us some lunch. I'm tired, I'm hot, I'm sweaty. So yeah, um, I'll just show y'all me making Chloe room and like straighten up her toys, put her toys away or whatever um, while these are cooking in the oven. Everything else is pretty much done. So yeah, you guys, this was our Sunday, Monday reset, what I was supposed to do yesterday. 
but I usually do it the day after if I don't do it so this is our Monday reset and um like I said I'm gonna continue this weekly vlog I do have my 34 35 week appointment this Friday and I don't think that I have anything that's why I said I hate this tripod I don't think I have anything else um okay <laughs> she's seeing breaks 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 I don't have anything else planned for today unless Bay comes home and be like, oh, we're going to go here or go do this. Then I'll, you know, vlog for you guys, try to update you guys on what's going on. Other than that, um, like I said, everything's pretty much clean. We're all done. I'm about to go lay down. I might even take me a nap. I don't know. I got up sitting around like 9, 45, 10 o'clock and been up since. And I didn't start cleaning until like noon. So, yeah, we're going to have some lunch and then yeah i'll show you guys me making the bed really quick and um doing the last little straighten up in her room and then after that we'll have lunch so you probably won't see anything after the next the next clip so yeah i will see you guys if not later then i'll see you guys tomorrow say bye guys bye bye guys bye guys bye, -bye. few bites of apple then she ate all the freaking meat out of her little bagel dogs so i'm about to just throw that away and i'm about to go lay down because i'm tired and i'm about to eat my small cakes that you guys seen me get like three days ago i never ate it so i'm about to eat that and drink some water and i'm gonna catch you guys later when i start cooking dinner Good inside. Feel like I put some brand new twenty fours on the brand new ride. Triple side of Patron on the rocks with a little bit of lime. I'm just keeping it real. Baby still working at the club, so I'm getting it free. I'm getting it free. Wednesday night I'm on the list. T pain plus three. Every time I hit the spot, baby girl taking care of me. How do you think I feel?
what you need to find it be Early, baby, later, you can show me things You know what it is, you know how busy Windy city, you only get see it so 30 degrees, way too cold, so hold me down Will I see you at the show tonight? Will I see you at the show tonight? Hey Truck to the plane, to the truck, truck to the hotel lobby. Me, I go through underground garages, presidential suites on deposit. Elevator up to the room, shower up, and then we hit the club. Touchdown, gotta see what's up. Area code in my phone, what numbers do I still have? Who do I know from the past? Hit one, she say she got a man. Hit another one, it goes green. Must have changed foes on the team. Remember when you let me in between? That was 2017. All good, chuck a look around, find one to see my type. Yeah, my dog, and he know what I like. He done found me plenty. In my life, problem is I meet a girl tonight. Then I go and treat her too nice. Got a real credit card swipes. I don't even know if she a wife, but I do know one thing though: women they come, they go. Saturday through Sunday, Monday, Monday through Sunday, yo. Maybe I love you one day. Maybe we'll someday grow. Till then I sit my drunk ass on that runway, on this one way. Thirty, baby, won't you meet me by the beach? Early, maybe later, you can show me things. You know what it is, you know how I visit You in the city, you gon' need to see it so Thirty degrees, way too cold, so hold me down Will I see you at the show tonight? Will I see you at the show tonight? Hey Jury in the safe on arrival, pistol on J for survival. A lot of people gunning for the title, a lot of people trying to take us viral. I'm just trying to have a nice night, though. Wait a brother, check for the mail. She said, babe, I think it was a typo. Nah, girl, I got it, that's light, though. I can show you bigger things than that. It's gonna be a minute till I'm back. Let me get your images that last. Amex had a limit in the past. I had plenty women in the past. I done plenty sitting in the past. You don't need to know what you can ask. Sticking on your backstage pass, all access cause you bad. You could go wherever with that ass. Show to the shower, to the truck, truck to the club for the party. You go in first with your girls, cause I don't know. This is her little bowl and she tries some rice as well. This is my plate, my boyfriend's plate, and Chloe's over there eating. And she always loves to tell him to come eat when the food is ready. So <laughs> Hey guys, we just took baths, showers, whatever, um, and I kind of just like rinsed all the dishes off and put them in the sink. I didn't do the dishes, so there's still a lot of dishes in the sink, but I just kind of straightened up, so I'm going to have much to do tomorrow if I decide to get up and do anything, but Bay just went to the corner store really quick, so me and Chloe got in the shower very quick. Um, it is 8.15 now. He's like, oh, you better be... Um, because one of his friends came over and he was like, oh, those greens smell good. And I'm like, yeah, they are good. And he's like, she's been cooking in here for two hours. So I hope so this food better be good. And I'm like, first of all, I was only in here for like an hour, hour and a half. And, you know, my food is always good. You always eat my food. So don't play. <laughs> but yeah after i made everybody plates it was just like really quiet everybody was just eating their food and he was like oh this is so good this is good i took his advice and started making the steak a little bit different this time so he was like yeah you did that i'll see you guys in the morning I told you I'm not here to mess around